Welcome back. It's the latest craze among kids, a simple but addictive toy children are obsessed with and they're selling like hotcakes. So far we've sold 4,300 in just on eight weeks. This year the trend is definitely poppets. We have every shape and every size. We are getting more in this week. The demand is high. Kids everywhere are begging for colourful sheets of silicon bubbles and parents can't put their finger on why. Do you sell puppets? <gasps> Do I sell puppets? I've got puppets and simple dimples and snappets and peas in a pot and change colour balls. Oh my God. <laughs> Brad runs Anime Abbotsford. He says 60 to 100 kids walk through his doors every day and they're all after the same thing. What is all the fuss about? So, it's all the poppets. So this is the poppets. So this is the square one, flowers, circles, octagonals. They're all in different shapes and you press them all. You press the buttons. That's it. That's all and you And then, do. Oh, you do it again. But every kid in the world wants one. Why? Because a little kid on TikTok said they should. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the impact. Puppets! I've got puppets for sale! I've got square ones, I've got round ones, I've got coloured ones! Rainbow, every colour you can think of! One for Iona and one for her sister. I like popping bubble wrap, like most kids do. <laughs> and then this is just basically oh, reusable oh, bubble wrap. I've lost counts. I'm going broke. <laughs> It's not just Brad who's making a mozza. Walk into a store and the poppets are in your eye line. Yeah, first thing we want you to see because it's the hottest thing at the moment. Every, everyone wants it. Carrie Ann's from Toy Mate. It's just taken off since February and we were actually one of the first companies to source the item. So for us, it's been huge. A poppet will set you back anywhere from $5 to $15, depending on the shape and size. The last big trend was about three or four years ago. That was the fidget spinner. Then it was slime. Before that, the loom band craze, Pokemon cards, and remember, Tamagotchis. <laughs> Clinical psychologist Dr Anna Cohen says toys like poppets were designed for kids on the autism spectrum. But your neurotypical kids, so kids that um, aren't on, say, the autism spectrum or that don't have sensory issues, they're still gravitating towards them and they're still picking them up and playing with them. My name's Zara. My name's Isla. My name's Claudia. My name's Violet. My name's Isabel. My name's Layla. And we love puppets! Age is no barrier when it comes to these fidget toys. These girls are mature year sevens and they can't get enough of them. Who has the most amount of puppets? Layla! <laughs> How many do you have? 40. It makes me just not think about any of the stress of the day. It makes me just focus on this one thing while popping the puppets and hearing the amazing popping sound. It's like kind of a distraction from de um, devices. My mum doesn't really mind since it's a really good distraction and she doesn't really care because normally I'm in my room and I don't annoy her all the time. <laughs> Do you guys ever think you'll get sick of playing with puppets? No! <laughs> what are parents telling you when they come in here? That they hate me. 